We now have our correspondent Amolola Olola Day on the street of Lagos to give us an update regarding the strike. Good afternoon, Amolola. Yeah, good afternoon. I can hear you. Okay, fantastic. Just paint a picture of your environment. Are people complying with the strike action? As you can see, if you look behind me now, we're at Ojodu Beggar. And even before we got here, we had moved around, you know, in Keja. We went to Kopita Village, which was opened, like the normal, usual business activities is going on there. Then we moved to Ogba, where, you know, we had all banks opened. We had, you know, the market open. And now we're in Ojodu Beggar. The, I've spoken to you know virtually almost every um, you know uh, almost every stakeholder. This is of course shop owners, commercial bus drivers, and of course people that are passing by. And you know from what I've gathered, they said that there's nothing like strike. Some of them are even saying they are not even aware that there's anything like NLC strike going on today. Well, you know perhaps has this in any way affected the transport fares of commercial buses at all in any way? Oh yes, I was able to speak with um, you know um, the head of the. NURCWU um, for Ojodu Bega, the Ojodu Bega chapter here. And the man said that there's nothing like NLC strike. Uh, they're not even, you know, working for NLC anyways. And they've not had any direct, they've not gotten any directive from their, you know, from their board or they are just saying that they should go on strike, which means that they're just going about their daily activities, doing their normal thing. That if perhaps they're going to join the strike, there must be a directive from the NURCWU saying that they have to join the strike, but that for now there's nothing like that, that are doing their normal business, going about their normal daily activities as usual. One more last uh, question for you, Molola, before I let you go. What are Nigerians saying about the strike? Do they think it's worth it? Is it justifiable? Okay, so like I said, I was able to speak with a few Nigerians on the road, and um, um, a lot of people had, um, you know, negative feelings about the strike because they said that why would they stay at home, especially considering the present economic situation in the country, that the, the strike from, you know, from past strikes, especially NLC strike, that for them it has not really been beneficial, especially, you know, lately with the old turnout of NLC saying that they are, you know, um, they, are, they are striking because of the rising, the rising, um, uh, the rise cost of living, the rising cost of living, but they say that there's nothing like that, that they are, they, they are not going to, uh, you know, to, to go by that because it has not been, it has not proven to be beneficial to them. So they say they are just going about their daily activities. A lot of people are, you know, a lot, a lot of people make ends meet on a daily basis. So if they ask them to stay at home, how are they going to fend, especially during this hard period? Thank you so much for that update. Our correspondents right there on the street of Lagos, Omolola Ololadi. Thank you so much.